Right off the top tonight, the culmination of a years-long debate over limiting short-term rentals like Airbnbs in Saugatuck. The Saugatuck City Council chose uh, to place a cap on how many Airbnbs are allowed in much of the city. News 8's Byron Tollefson's in Saugatuck with more on what happened tonight. Like many tourist destinations along the lakeshore and nationwide, Saugatuck has been wrestling with how many Airbnbs should be allowed in the community. The city has now taken a step to limit them. <laughs> Packed meeting in Saugatuck as the debate over limiting the city's rising number of short-term rentals came to a head. This is a tourist town. That's all we have to survive. In a 4-2 to two vote, the city council moved to place a 20% cap on short-term rental licenses in the city's R1 residential district. That's where most Airbnbs are in the city, by the water and on the hill. City council member Holly Anderson, who voted yes, argued that short-term rentals are overrunning those areas, affecting the character and quality of the neighborhoods. Our part-time residents, the people who live in our neighborhoods, want the 20 it's time to enforce our zoning and honor the will of the people who elected us. The rule will not be retroactive, so all current short-term rental licenses will be grandfathered in until the property is sold or changes ownership. When the licenses are available, they will be issued through a lottery system. While supporters said the issue had been long studied by a task force, city council members who voted no argued that an economic impact study should be done before taking a vote. Other opponents, like real estate agent and property owner Ethan Barty, say the restrictions will hurt tourism and be bad for local businesses. There's not enough rooms in the hotels that we have. We have to have short-term rentals for this for this town to thrive. He also feels like some property owners are being unfairly targeted and the homes will lose value because of the new rules. We feel that um, our property rights are, are being violated, especially as they're picking winners and losers. You know, when you're saying just our one district, you know, you're not including R2. Mayor Lauren Stanton voted yes for the limits, citing declining population in Songatuck over the last few decades. She says she wanted to strike a balance between protecting residential areas and still letting short-term rentals grow in other parts of the city. I just worry that there's a time where we'll be down below 500 residents. And what does that look like for our community? Because people don't live here full time. It's going down every 10 years. The city's planning commission will soon hold a public hearing on making a zoning change necessary to put this cap in place. In Saugatuck, Byron Tollefson, News 8.